this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make puppy bows. Stay tuned. I've already gone ahead and placed my bow dabber wire into the bow dabber tool, tucked it under and out of the way. I've also pre-cut my ribbon with a chevron cut, also called dovetails. And we only need half an inch, so if your ribbon is two inches, just cut it in half and it'll be the perfect size. So we're going to place the first piece into the bow dabra. And then the second piece, we're going to fold it to have a flap in the back and place it into the bow dabra tool. It's folded in the back and you're going to place it with the back into the bow dabra tool. Same principle. Fold it in the back and then place it into the bow dabra tool. And now for the accent, just cut a piece in a different color. And this is silver mesh and we're going to place it in the bow dabra tool. And then we're going to take the slip knot and put it tight. At this point, if you wanted to add a charm, you can go ahead and do that. And then flip it to the back. and then just fluff it out and now this is where you can make name plates I just drilled a hole on each side this is actually veneer edging it comes in a pack you can get it at your hardware store, your local hardware store. And then you cut a strip. And that's how you can make your name plates. And then this is where the bow dabber wire also comes in handy with your scraps. You just tie a knot and then another knot. So you double knot it. And then cut the tip it through and then you can place it onto the ribbon but first you're going to print out the mirror image of your puppy's name and then apply acetone directly to the veneer. And then rub that toner onto the plaque. Apply more acetone. That's actually my nail polish, but that's okay. And keep rubbing. To get your name on the wood veneer. And I didn't do it quite right, but you get the idea. If you don't get all the toner onto the name plaque, you can just try again. And this one, you can see I fixed Brody's name. And this is what it looks like. Si no te queda bien el tono del empresario, puedes repetirlo como yo lo arreglé para el nombre de Brody.
I hope you liked my tutorial and I'll see you next time.